Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metro 2033. Let me just bring it down. I've already played the next couple chapters, uh, but something came up and I had to restart. The station is under attack again. Let's go, lad. The defenders could use some help. He's gonna run off to the right there, back there, and help defend. Uh, just go and go over here and go up these stairs. The first notes, or the only note for the chapters up here as well. The first focus on taking these guys out. Well, I put two shots into that guy and he didn't go down. God, these guys are tanky for no reason. Anyway, you come over here. Uh, the first note is beside this guy's body. And then you want to come over here and put a grenade. There's a grenade next to that guy's body as well, in case you don't have one. Then run down these stairs for a close up. Okay, we'll go ahead and read the note. Once this used to be a regular station, lived in, even prosperous. One of those stations where not only the only heavily armed fighters can survive, but also old men and women and even children. Then the mutants came, as if from nowhere. They were innumerable. The curse, sure. Then it was still called its old name, fought back with all it had. The means proved inadequate. The defenders were forced to abandon all, all of their roadblocks in the tunnels, one after another. Then they barricaded the main platform and had their last stand there. They fought the last child they were able to evacuate to the neighbor station. The last old lady carried there the last bullet, and when the bullets were gone, those at the barricades all stayed there. Then the curse station got its name, from the saved wives and children of those who'd stay there forever. Who'd stayed there forever. And that is what it waits and that, that is what awaits our exhibition if I don't pull my task off. Perhaps not just the exhibition, but the whole metro. Alright, and then I'm not sure where to go next, just follow your compass here. But you want to go this way and then go to the right. Maybe you can disarm this trap so you can get through here. You go all the way to the end here. Uh, loot these bodies. There is a bomb right here. Need to grab that. Anyway, make sure you have fire grenades equipped. Pretty easy peasy. I think more spawn here no matter what when you come down here. Yeah. yeah. And just don't run down here. Uh, cutscene will trigger. Alright, then book it out of here before it blows up. That's it. Uh, no more uh, mutants will spawn. That's the end of the mission, essentially. Okay, these bodies. I kind of run up to you, but just run past them. There's some uh, ammunition back here as well. This guy's sitting on all of it. The tunnels have collapsed. If you want to get to Follis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armor from here. Fully upgraded pistol here, by the way. But I'm using uh, these two weapons. And the Nazis. Let's move. Alright, so next uh, next stop is the station. You could try to get through here earlier, but uh, it'll, uh, it'll just push you back. The shadows won't let you pass. That's how context takes care of him. His special mystic powers. A shrine to hope. Even in these times, we can't relinquish the things that make us human.
That's it. Get in. Remember, everything depends on you and you alone. Until we meet again, goodbye, Artyom. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. To uh, what's it called? What is it called? Armory Station. That's right. Cold. Who goes there? Your mom. Stand still. I'm sorry. Hey, loosen up. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> that's all that counts. Come in. This is a free station. You say that, but you're under a communist occupation currently, so. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that statement. Careful, kid. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Well, let's boogie woogie. Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their Thanks work. to the world, this Be is an inspection. The enemy never Hush. sleeps. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. All right, all right. Lay off. I'll come quietly. I like he does it quietly means. I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Go! Go! Also, don't uh, delay that at all. There's nothing to get here. No secrets or notes or anything. Just keep running. You can die here. left in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the Blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. Uh, so the first note's right here on the shelf. You, you won't miss it. It's underneath the helmet, but above the... sit on top of the records. There are many in the Metro who hate the Reds, because they're afraid of them. The Reds always go hungry, even though they work around the clock. They're told they toil for a better future, but year after year their lives get even more miserable. They fight with abandon as if not afraid of death at all. And their commanders just throw them away, piling their bodies up to block the enemy gun emplacements, spending their lives as if their charges were immortal. But they are mortal, and they die. Of exhaustion, of overworking, of bullets fired by their enemies and their own commissars or to shoot those retreating. They are told they are superior, that they are made of steel, not flesh. And that is why I pity them. What do they live and die for? The idols of the past are long gone, but they are kept in the dark about it. The slogans they communicate with are meaningless in the new world. They are prohibited from speaking out, speaking, or even thinking freely. Anyone asking questions is deemed a traitor. Anyone who says life is better outside the red line is a spy and a saboteur. You have to hide everything human about you and become just like the rest of them. But there are also people like Andrew the blacksmith here. People who refuse to abandon hope and who persevere. If I were in his shoes, I'd be long gone. 
Why is he still here? Is he afraid of being shot making his escape? So there used to be uh, these two suits you could buy in the game, two outfits. And I'll show you where they were when I'll talk about what they do. Uh, one of them is a combat combat armor suit you can purchase. Uh, it would reduce uh, damage taken so you, know, you can get shot more. There's also a stealth suit that used to come with, uh, or came with night vision goggles. And the stealth is ridiculous. You could like walk directly in front of people and they wouldn't see you. It was, it was a, it was a very, very good uh, purchase. And they used to be over here on this wall. Visit the shops. Home your arsenal when you still can. But don't waste time. The train is on schedule and it's not waiting for you. Yeah, they used to be right here. Both those outfits. All right, I'm gonna keep my shotgun. Um, so in the next level, you can do one of two things. You can either Uh, sneak your way through, you can kill your way through. I'm going to go for the killing option. I think it's easier and it's more fun. But you can also sneak through the next level, and um, there's an achievement for each one. One, you don't kill anybody, you sneak all the way through, but it requires you to save certain individuals. The killing people, you just kill everything. Anyone and everything. It's pretty straightforward. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, up to him. Alright, when you come down here, there's uh, some money right there. There's also a note. Sitting in the right of the toolbox, we'll go ahead and read that as well. I was not wrong about Andrew. I just grossly underestimated him. He's not afraid of running. He just does things that take much more guts than that. Andrew helps others escape the red, the red line, risking his own life every minute. He and his friends save lots of refugees using a network of abandoned passages and forgotten tunnels, which the Reds are still ignorant about. Refugees usually take this literal and at the same time figurative underground railroad to get from the red line to the metro proper. But for me, Andrew's working it in reverse. I need to get to the front lines of the never-ending war between the Red Line and the Reich. I'm taking the train, which is delivering a fresh load of cannon fodder to the meat grinder. The important part is to know when to jump off. And just waiting. Then once he tells you to get in, just activate your use button, whether it be E or X or square. Do you see that luggage hold? Get into it. Yeah, can't wait for him to say it though. Huh? So what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? Then we just kinda sit here for a bit. It takes a little while. It's a while indeed. Yeah, I, I thought about doing the stealth playthrough last time. I tried recording. Is it really safe in there? Um, but I am just gonna kill everybody. Fall down onto the rails. Not ads, no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. If he goes straight to Bianca, and that's a one way ticket.
you joined the army. I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for the doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, Lord. Is you know what, I might do the stealth playthrough, because it doesn't... And legs on the battlefield. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'll try stealth, and again, if I, if I aggro sure. anybody, I'll just start Drums killing everything. There is a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Yeah, I'll try a stealth playthrough, but it requires you knocking out certain Even the uh, enemies. Even well. can stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the communists. After they once fought another war, but the Nazis lost. Now, if you're going for the kill playthrough, uh, these two soldiers we go by right here. And once you drop out of the carriage, you want to turn around and to kill those guys as well. Because they'll be behind you. At the end of the tunnel. Also, if you go for the kill playthrough, you want to throw a grenade at that cart. Because they'll be giving them a speech before they get out of the, uh, before they get out of the cart. Just throw a grenade in. Can't kill all of them. So I'm gonna try to try to show you the safe locations. It's easier to sneak through if you're not trying to um, get the safes. But I'm gonna try and get the safes. You have to save this guy, you have to knock these guys out. Nothing to it. He listens to the conversation and let him get executed to get a moral point. They hear me? Also, if you're killing everybody, you have to kill these two guys as well. The injured communists. Anyway, the first key is right here. Turn off the power, come down here. Again, this is all just a side area. You don't have to come this way. It's just for the uh, safe. Put on your mask before you get in here. Go through this gate. Anyway, come down here, some ammunition and an upgraded bastard gun. It looks like it's got a extended barrel, laser sight, and a two-time scope. And some night vision goggles on the table here. Or chest, shelf, whatever. And a safe. A lot of, aim, a lot of uh, money in it. I forget how much it actually is. What's a good amount? I think it's like 30-something. So I don't actually remember how to use the night vision goggles. But I know they have to be powered on. There we go. They're really handy. Really handy. Because, again, if your flashlight's on... I want to make sure my flashlight's off, because it will trigger enemies. I think you can turn your flashlight on while you have night vision goggles on anyway. Yeah, I'm going to sneak past these guys again. I think he goes to the right. Gotta hide back here for him to come back through. Otherwise, he'll spot me. Oh, there he is. Yeah, 
Okay, we're going for the stealth playthrough, so we gotta save everybody and not get spotted. Alright, book it. Book it, Crouch, so you're not really booking it here. You're duck walking it. I had no idea that guy was right there. Um, shoot. Might be safe in here. So you can, you can like, aggravate them. As long as they don't shoot at you, you should be fine. Also, I think if you knock them out, you should be fine as well for the achievement. So I'm gonna try and knock them out, see if that works. Bam. Judy chopped to the back. So that guy's gone. I don't know if he runs or what. Anyway, down here we go. Oh, I saw my gas mask on. My bad. Just run down here, nothing to it. Alright, now down here, I recommend, well, you have to be gas mask on, but I also recommend having your flashlight out. There's some traps you need to avoid. Also, this guy has a filter on him, I think. Yeah. There's also a skeleton. If you look at him, like, real quick and activate him, you'll realize it's a skeleton. They kind of hide it, but if you look closely, you can tell. Alright, so there's four traps down here at five, maybe six. I don't remember. Now, if you trigger any of those, you fail the Invisible Man as well, I think. Basically, if you take any damage, you fail. Um, and it used to be, I don't know if it's like this in the Redux version, but it used to be if you failed the achievement you're going for, like if you got spotted, you couldn't just reload the last checkpoint, you had to start again from the beginning. And I don't know if they fixed that in the Redux version. Because the Redux version, I don't think I covered this, isn't just a, um... It's not a remaster, it's an actual remake of the game, so... And again, except for the crashes I got in Dead City, it was a really quality, um... ...thing. Really quality remake. High quality remake. I take your gas mask off here. Let's get this door. There's nothing else in these tunnels, so just keep going up. When you get up here, there's gonna be three prisoners. You have to save them, because this guy will execute the prisoners if you don't save them. And they need to you need to rescue him to get the invisible man. Thank you, Tom. I heard there was a ranger in the vicinity. Good work. I won't ask you about your mission here. So man, you've been fall back. I'm not to meet you. And thanks again. No problem, man. Good luck getting out of here. Alright, this next area is pretty easy to sneak through. Um, I'm gonna make sure my stuff is charged up. There's a couple of guards outside this uh, door here. You need to be cautious of. Oh. You may have saw me. Alright, so this guy stands at the door for a while, I think. Yeah, you can kind of see him right there. Crap. Look at that guy right there. I think he comes and he stands at the doorway for a bit. This guy is supposed to come back down here and patrol that way. He's supposed to. I don't see him doing it right now. 
We can also go down here. Just mosey through here. Avoid all these guys and um Yeah, easy peasy. Now one of the harder parts of the stealth segment is coming up. There's a trolley that goes by. You have to hide in a specific corner to avoid it. You look down here. It's a trolley. That's what all those lights are. It's a trolley coming this way. So in order to avoid it, just go down here. They shouldn't see you. That's what screwed up my last stealth run because I forgot all about it. This guy's coming down. I don't remember how to avoid him. Hey, some throwing knives. I know those are right there. Should turn around, I believe. I don't think the trolley comes back this way. I think it stays on that side to fight the communists. There we go. Oh crap, nope. Alright, we're gonna wait for it to pass again. Because we don't want it to spot us. I am taking my time with this because it's... This is the hardest segment. They might see us on the way back. Even sitting right here. Nope. Alright, welcome to the Nazi side. Now, I'm not as familiar with the Nazi side as I am with the other side for obvious reasons. The other side is the beginning. Alright, so you get up on these pipes though, and uh, there's, there's the key. That's what we want to get down to. I wonder if there's a good way to do that without getting spotted, because there's a lot of lights down there you can't put out. I think it's easier from this side. Some ammunition and stuff up here. Alright, there is a guard right there. Oh crap, this guy right there. I had no idea that guy was right there. I have to go down and circle around the train this side, on this side. I don't actually remember. So there's the key. I think the safe is in this car somewhere. I don't actually remember. I didn't look for the safe when I went in there last time. So this guy shouldn't see us according to what just happened. Now, I do think that the, um, the Killing Everybody playthrough is more fun, but this is definitely more tense, because there are a lot of enemies here. Oh yeah, here's the safe. Alright, so now that's, that's done. I'm 
gonna wait for this guy to turn around and go back. We're almost done with the level, I think. Sure, we're all on the Nazi side. He's got a patrol back. Can't get past him. I think the Nazis have really cool looking armor in this game. All right, and then we go. And this guy's pretty easily avoidable. This should be. Crap, really? I made it to the end? Well, that's embarrassing. I made it to the end and I'm like, oh, I'll just run past this guy real quick. No big deal. Alright, so there's a note over there on that table. That's what I'm trying to get to. Pretty sure you just think past this guy. That's being dumb. But yeah, there we go. The Red Lion has no worse enemy than the Fourth Reich. They say they've been at war for a hundred for a hundred years. Different nations is urged by demons. Choose a side in this conflict, and sometimes, like in the Metro, split and fight till both sides are destroyed. The Reich is supposed to be a complete opposite of the Red Line. Why does it look? But why does it look so similar? Poverty and hunger, forced labor, and endless rallies, rambling of the politicians, and empty eyes of the plebeians. They also talk in slogans, and you can't doubt what you're told here either. They do believe a different thing here, though. Supposedly, it's enough for all mutants to be eradicated for things to magically fix themselves. Racial purity is no longer relevant. These Nazis are all for genetic purity. Racial purity. Yeah, sorry. Racial purity is no longer relevant. These Nazis offer genetic purity. And since the norm is defined by the politicians, anyone can be deemed a mutant. It's the stormtroopers who ultimately get to decide who lives and who dies. And this fight can last forever. And they treat the spies the same way they, same way they do in the red line, so I can't allow myself to get captured. Almost ran into that guy. Yeah, they just exit here. Nobody. Just playing it safe here. Alright. Hey, I got the achievement. Alright, so yeah, you can't re reload the last checkpoint. Oh boy. That scared the crap out of me. I forgot about this. When I came to my senses. I lost all hope. Nazi prisoners were used for slave labor or target practice. All right, and we're going to call it here. In the next one, we'll uh, go into trolley combat. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see y'all in the next episode.